Welcome back everyone. In this video we will talk about the static and dynamic analysis of the open interest of the future. In the previous lesson we studied that the future is used by hedgers and traders as a tool to protect options positions. Based on what we have studied so far, it is clear that the trend is strong if the movement of the underlying price matches with an increase in the open interest of the future. Conversely, if the movement of the underlying is followed by a reduction in the futures, we have an uncertain situation, which needs further confirmation. Basically, for a movement to be significant, the open interest of the future must follow the direction of the trend. In the hypothesis of an uptrend, the open interest of the future should increase in the uptrend phases, while during the corrections it should decrease. Likewise, in a bearish trend, the open interest of the future should increase progressively as soon as the market drops. The use of futures is even more required during the breakdown of important support or resistance levels or key price levels, as the seller's hedging actions are triggered to defend the strikes and their premium. The analysis of the open interest of the future is also effective in allowing us to identify not only the strength, but also the weakness of an ongoing trend. In fact, one of the first signs of weakness of a trend is when we observe a decrease in future contracts, when the market reaches a relative maximum or minimum. If the futures do not follow the price trend adequately, there is a lower participation of operators in the current trend. In case we are in the market, this sounds as an alarm. In case we are out of the market, it sounds as an opportunity. Furthermore, it is clear that the reversal of a trend, for example the transition from a bullish to a bearish trend, cannot take place without adequate support from futures contracts. So we can avoid incurring false signals. It is nice to check whether a break of a support trend line is happening, with a decrease in futures contracts that are no longer necessary. This way we will be able to avoid many false signals that are given to us by the price charts when the trend is reverting. Thanks for your attention, see you in the next video.